So I was kind of minding my own business, working on other song interview type things, and I, I just noticed in the newspaper that there was an article about the Toll Brothers site. That five acres of ag land extra that they're taking is, uh, that's what the whole fight is about. The first court case uh, that put everything on hold, the Water Coalition uh, won that case, and but then uh, the Toll Brothers appealed it. So uh, then they won the appeal on a technicality that the application was not timely enough on the suit. So that's where we are now, and everybody thinks it's illegal. That's why the crime scene tape is wrapped around the property, and that's why the occupation. And so headed over to the site, right off the bat, I could tell that these were local people who were passionate about their community and who had a concern that we were really all in the same boat on. When I looked at that map, it struck me as this is very dangerous. There's a great possibility for risk to our water supply. They, and as I learned more and more, I became more and more convinced that this is really worse than I even thought it was going to be. And it's just the wrong place. I don't mind. That's cool. You want to do that? Fine. Find a piece of land that's not right above our water. So I went there the first couple of days. I mean, I just started talking to people. I walked up to this camp and I just started talking to strangers. I like talking to strangers. I just started meeting all kinds of people from all different walks of life who were somehow tied together by this common bond, by this common interest. My worst fear is this, this development, the Toll Brothers Luxury Student Housing Complex could go in, followed by the Whitehall Road Regional Park. And those two things would be the first two dominoes that could start a cascading process where at least like 350 acres could be developed, um, could no longer be uh, green space, open space, farmland, all of it, by the way, is in the recharge zone, is in the watershed for the two well fields that supply two-thirds of the drinking water for State College. If there was a leak from, from the stormwater basin, then it's a very short distance, vertical distance, um, for contaminants that are in the runoff and they could be lots of different contaminants. It's a stupid place to put something that could leak, get into the subsurface, follow that fracture, down gradient towards those well fields. That's, that's the scenario that I think of where this development could contaminate our water. And it, one thing was really interesting, sitting down with Laura Danini, who is really passionate about these issues, uh, but also I think she also has a tolerance for them that I don't think I have. It, you know, she um, made me realize that there are people who have a mind for civic issues that a lot of folks don't have, and they're willing to put an effort into it that a lot of other folks aren't. And the thing about it is that it's a sacrifice they're all making for everyone else who's sitting at home watching TV, just expecting that their water is gonna be great forever. The occupation in particular has changed the dynamics of the discussion on a community level a little bit because it still did not feel like the community was on any kind of an equal footing in terms of respect in this dialogue until the occupation occurred. Penn State has a lot of power and they have a lot of land and that if they really do decide with their administrative mind that it's actually time to join with the community, to work toward a unified goal with the community, I think that they would find that the community would step up and support them as well. And I don't think we've ever been in a position that we could actually even think that we might have that conversation. If Penn State really wants to change this, it's literally just a few decisions and they really can not expose themselves to risk because they have so many resources. So they don't have to tell Toll Brothers that they won't sell them any land. They can just tell the Toll Brothers they have a different parcel. Folks would support that. The solution is right there in their grasp. If for some reason this development gets built and the water gets poisoned, we become another Flint, Michigan, 
I mean, that would re that would really be disastrous.